Okay, on question number three, you're asked to simplify these sets, writing your final answer in terms of square root of two. So on the first one, square root of 98, we can rewrite that as square root of 49 times the square root of two, and then plus square root of two, which will then simplify to, so square root of 49 is seven, so this is seven root two plus root two, so the root two on its own, you can think of that as one square root two. So seven root two plus one root two, this gives us eight square root of two. So the second one, so we are asked to expand the brackets here. So we have root two plus three times two minus three root two. So multiplying this out, so the first two terms will give us two square root of two multiplying these two, if I'm asked to show clear working, then I might want to first write this like this. So we have that three root two times the root two, plus multiplying these two, that's just equal to six. And then the last two terms, that times that is going to be, so that should be minus three times, three times root two. So simplifying all of this, they should give us two square root of two. These two terms, root two times root two gives us four, so that's minus 12, because three times, sorry, root two times root two gives you two. So three times two, that gives you minus six, plus six, and three times three here gives us nine, so that's minus nine root two. So the minus six and plus six will cancel, so two root two minus nine root two, that would give us minus seven root two. So that's both a part one and two written in terms of just square root of two. Now, part B of this question is to solve this. So here it does say detailed working must be shown in this question. So on something like this, you could try to use logs, but seeing that they're all power, or they can all be written as powers of three, this would be simpler. I think if you rearrange it in some form and write everything as a power of three. So the 27 here can be written as three to the power three. So what I'm first going to do is to rewrite the 27 as three cubed to the power of t. And I think it would actually make sense to multiply this whole thing by three to the power t minus one. So kind of bring that three to the power t minus one to the other side. And then three times the square root of three, now square root of three is the same as three to the power half. So I'll write this as three to the power t minus one times three. So that's that three there. And the square root of three, I'll write that as times three to the power one over two. So what we can now do is just apply rules of indices. So on the left-hand side, if you raise something to a power and to a power again, you multiply the two powers together. So this will be three to the power three t. On the right hand side, we add the powers together. So if you are multiplying, by the way, the dots here just mean to multiply these things. So it's that times that. So if you add the powers together here, we have t minus one, add plus one, because that's three to the power one, plus another half. So t minus one, add one, plus half will simplify to t plus half. So on the right hand side, we are going to have three to the power t plus a half. So at this point, you can just make the two powers equal to each other because the bases are the same. So now we could say that three, three t on this side is equal to t plus half on this side. So solving this, just subtract t from both sides, so we get two t is equal to a half, and dividing by two, that gives us t is equal to one over four.